Young people, listen to me, what I'm, listen to what I'm saying, please, carefully. Please think about this. What is your life going to mean? If your life is just one video game to the next, if your life is just one episode to the next of a show, what are you pursuing? Who cares if you got trophies on that video game or you got 100% synchronization in Assassin's Creed? Who cares? Who cares? What is that in a account? How did, what did that change the, for the world? You know, who cares how many push-ups you can do? Who cares? You have to think more than that. You have to think higher than that. And when you start doing that, I will tell you one thing Allah will give you. Allah will give you happiness. When you really have pursuit, then your life means something. And when your life means something, it makes you happy. When you don't have pursuit, then you never find meaning in your life. And that's why you're never happy. Doesn't matter how, many, how much music you listen to, or how much hanging out you do, or how much partying you do, you're just never happy. You're never satisfied. You're always bored. You're always just, you know, not happy with yourself, etc. It is this pursuit that you have to internalize. You young people have to be people of incredible, incredible, incredible pursuit. Allah says, Wa anna sa'yahu sawfa yura. I love this ayah. And I'm ending with this ayah. And that his effort, his effort, his pursuit will soon be seen. His effort will soon be what? Seen. Let me tell you something. When you show somebody your resume, I graduated from this school. I've worked here and here and here. I did this and this and this project. What do you put on your resume? The results or the pursuit? You don't put the pursuit, you put the results. The result was you graduated. You don't put, I worked really hard for the final semester and I was like dying to do this exam. And you don't put that on your resume. You just put, I graduated, yes or no? I did this project, this project, and this project. You don't put on your resume how much effort you made to finish that project, isn't it? And by the way, sometimes you put a lot of effort in and you don't, pay, you don't pass. Does that happen? You put an incredible amount of effort into a project and it fails. Or you don't get the grade that you deserved or you, you wanted. You just didn't see the results. Human beings, we judge each other based on what? Results. I don't care how much effort you made, you didn't get the results. You're fired. I don't care how much effort you made, you didn't pass the test, you're not graduating. You understand? But Allah on Judgment Day is not looking at your report card based on results. Allah is looking at your report card based on what? Effort. Allah says, and His effort, His pursuit is that which will be shown in Al or which will be seen. That is remarkable because no other human being on the face of this earth can see my effort. I cannot see your effort and you cannot see mine. Only Allah sees effort. All we see are imp is impact. All we see are results. We are people of results. Allah is a judge of, of effort. SubhanAllah. What an incredible master. Nobody will appreciate your efforts except Allah. So never underestimate your efforts because other people underestimate them. People didn't appreciate the kind of work you put in and you figure, well, I guess it wasn't worth it. It was to Allah. It was to Allah. It was worth it to Allah. So I, that part of my talk was specifically for the sisters. Because they, they do a lot of effort and they feel like it's not going somewhere, anywhere. Not the guys, because guys don't do any effort. And they feel like, I did a lot, I tried so hard. <laughs> you guys just have to stop lying to yourself. You stop have to telling yourself you're doing enough. You have to stop being lazy. Shaitan is destroying you guys. It's, he's destroying you. You're so lazy. Stop being lazy. Stop rationalizing to yourself. Get up and do work. Do more. <laughs> المغتصب وبكل القوة